coefficients of variations. The coefficients of variations is the standard deviations divided by the means of the same data set and expressed as a percentage. It is a useful measure for comparing the degree of variations, variability, stability, or consistency from one data set to another. So here is the formula for the coefficients of variations. Coefficients of variations equal to the standard deviations divided by mean times 100%. Note that if the expected returns in the denominator of the calculations is negative or zero, the ratio will not make sense. Let's look at the table here to compare the coefficients of variations. If coefficients of variations of a data is larger, Compared to coefficients of another data, we can say that the data is more dispersed and less consistent. But if the coefficients of a data is smaller compared to the coefficients of another coefficients of variations of another data, we can say that the data is less dispersed and more consistent. For example, a larger coefficient of variations means that the data is more dispersed and less consistent. Example 12. Which of the data set is more dispersed? Proof by the suitable measurements. You are given a table with, a dat with two data. First, about each of the accountants, and second, about the salary of accountants. For the age of accountants, the means is 26 and the standard deviation is 6. For the salary of the accountants, the mean is 31,000 and the standard deviation is 4,000. So, to know which of the data set is more dispersed, you must compare the coefficients of variations of both data. The data with the higher coefficients of variations is more dispersed. Before that, let's recall the formula of coefficients of variations. So, coefficients of variations equal to the standard deviations divided by mean times 100%. Before that, I will define the age of the accountants as a a a age of accountants and the salary of accountant as s a salary of accountants. Next, let's find the coefficients of variations of age of accountants, which is equal to the standard deviations 6 divided by mean 26 times 100%. So you will get 23.08%. Next, let's find the coefficients of variations of as a the salary of accountants equal to the standard deviation which is 4000 divided by mean 31000 times 100 percent so you should get 12.9 percent now we can compare the coefficients of variations of each of the accountants and the coefficients of variations of salary of accountant you can see that Coefficients of variations of age of the accountants is greater than coefficients of variations of salary of accountant. Therefore, coefficients of variations of age of the accountants is larger then the coefficients of variations of salary of accountants therefore the data for each of the accountant
is more dispersed. Example 13. The daily production of two comparable machines was measured over a period of time. Given the following statistics, machines A, the mean equal to 485, the standard deviations equal to 41. For machines B, the means equal to 560 and the standard deviations is 46. Which machines is more consistent in keeping to its mean productions? So, to know which machine is more consistent, we must compare the coefficients of variations of both machines, which is machine A and machine B. The machines with the smaller coefficients of variations is more consistent. So, first, let's recall the formula for coefficients of variations. So, to find the coefficients of variations, we must take the standard deviations divided by mean, times 100%. First, I will define machines A as MA and the machines B as MB. So, let's find the coefficients of variations of machines A, which is equal to the standard deviation 41 divided by mean 485 times 100%. Percents equal to we should get 8.45 percent. Next, let's try to find the coefficients of variations of machines B, which is the standard deviations of machines B 46 divided by mean of machines B, which is 560 times 100 percent. So we will get 8.21. Now, we can compare the coefficients of variations of machines A and machines B. We can see that coefficients of variations of machines A, sorry, machines B is less than coefficients of variations of machines A. Therefore, we can say that coefficients of variations of machines B is smaller than coefficients of variations of machines A. Therefore, machines B is more consistent In keeping to its means productions level.